This is a model home, and it is the enticement that builders use to get you to buy a house. In here, you'll find just about every upgrade imaginable. Big sliding glass doors, top of the line appliances, beautiful countertops and cabinets, premium flooring throughout the home, and some designer elements that make just about everyone who walks through here fall in love with the place. But after you sign that contract in the sales office and then go pick out all of the features for your own home, you often end up with something a little closer to this. And with that memory of what you saw in the model still fresh, it can sometimes lead to some disappointment. Oftentimes when I'm walking through one of these with a client, they'll ask me if they can just buy it. And yeah, you definitely can. But there are some things that you need to be careful with when it comes to purchasing the actual model because not all of these things are created equally. So in this video, I'll show you some common misconceptions about buying a model, provide you with some tips to make sure you actually get what you're looking for, and share the experience of some clients of mine who purchased one of these for themselves. This was a model home for Malone Estates in beautiful Queen Creek, Arizona, and it's also my newest listing. Now before we dive in, we need to understand exactly what it is about the models that creates such a sense of desire to where so many buyers just have to have it. Obviously, the abundance of upgrades plays a large role, but why would someone hold out for the model when they could simply apply those upgrades to a brand new build? Well, there are a few things you get with the model that you cannot get when you build a home on a lot. And these things were largely what sold my clients on their home. First, you get the benefit of having the fully landscaped backyard. This home, for example, features a custom water feature next to this gorgeous seating area. It has bistro lights to enjoy in the evenings, some well manicured plants, artificial turf, and even a hot tub. But on a new build home, when you get the keys for the first time, your backyard it's gonna look like this, which means you'll be spending at least 30,000 or more to take care of not just the backyard, but all the landscaping around the home. Another thing you're certain to notice when you walk a model home is all the accent walls and the carefully chosen paint colors. Some even have custom built-ins that were added, and these are things you cannot get in a from scratch build. Now you might be looking at some of these and saying, I could do that, I made a killer birdhouse in shop class once. But these features actually reflect the touch of another huge benefit you get from acquiring the model, and that's the touch of a professional designer who knows exactly where to place all these fancy items. My clients fell in love with this place because of all those small details that were carefully chosen just for this home. And these things are what helped to give this former model home the pizzazz. Do people still say that? How do you do, fellow kids? What? Anyway, you just can't get those features in a home that wasn't the model. But let's just say that you are extremely handy and you even have the touch and eye of a professional designer. Well, that still won't make up for something else that the model home offers. If you've ever heard a saying in real estate, I would bet it's the old location, location, location. And while that might be a cliche, the model home, it's the ultimate example of that because these things always sit on a premium lot. So you obviously get some great benefits from purchasing the model, but that doesn't mean that it's a slam dunk and that you should always buy one, especially without knowing a few things about what the purchase process looks like. One thing to know right away is that the model doesn't come with something that every buyer will want. When you build a home on a lot, you get the peace of mind of knowing that it will come with a one-year warranty where the builder will fix just about anything that goes wrong with it during that first year. But with the model home, that's one item that is not included. So why doesn't the builder give you a warranty? Well, it's pretty simple. It's because the model home is often several years old. It was the first one built in the community and it's typically one of the very last that's sold but there's also an upside to that. One of the most common warranty claims at that one year mark is for cracks in the drywall and the stucco. These things will start showing up as the house begins to settle. But over time, that settling, it should subside. And with the model, most of the settling should have already occurred. That was the case with my client's home, where the owners have been the benefactors of that settling already happening during the time that the builder owned it. And the walls on both the interior and exterior look brand new. And even without a warranty, tons of people are still lining up to buy the model. But there are some things that you should do before you actually sign the contract to make sure you actually get that dream home and not a money pit. Something to keep in mind on these things is that when builders are opening a community, there is a timeline that they're obviously trying to meet. They can't open the community without a model home to display, which means these homes are often built very quickly. Because of that, 
a lot of these homes might have some issues from that rushed construction. The best way to find out if the home you're looking at has some issues that aren't blatantly obvious is to get a thorough home inspection prior to signing a contract. On top of not coming with a warranty, models are also sold in as-is condition. So a home inspection is essential to give you the best shot at discovering any major problems that might be lurking. And the reason you'll want to get this done before you sign a contract is because once you put that deposit down, it is non-refundable. And if you do find problems with the home, it'll also give you some much needed leverage to negotiate the sales price down a bit since the builder won't be making any repairs. For this home, the builder was willing to fix all the holes and small cosmetic blemishes from removing the signage. And outside of that, my clients have had no issue since they've been living here. Now there is one more thing that builders use to try to hook you with the model. These things are often loaded with designer furniture, which you can usually purchase with the home. But if the idea of old, semi-used furniture isn't your cup of tea, and you wanna see what an actual model home looks like where someone has lived in it, you should watch this video right here, where I will give you a full tour of this home, as well as some of the great businesses that surround it.